Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Safety Systems. They've got the home theater systems. They've got corporate media systems for your media room, uh, you know, your big office there. Security systems for your home or office, life safety systems, fire safety systems, and they test the fire and life safety systems that have to be tested every year. They do all of it. Call VFL JJ Surlis about the work that Safe T Systems can do for your home, can do for your business. You see their website right there? Check them out this week. They do good work. This is our quick slant segment. Sometimes I'll just let them talk on their own topic. Sometimes I'll fire questions at them. And that's what I'm doing today. Jimmy, I start with you. Is Henry To'o To'o, true sophomore, only played 15 games now, is he the best vol defender since Eric Berry? I'm that's going the kind of to love he's say, getting. I'm sorry? Because that's the kind of love he seems to be getting. Yeah. Well, I love him too, but um, <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, no, I, I, I'm going to go with Derek Barnett. You mentioned it. I, I need a little bit more sample size. I think Henry Toa Toa is going to be an All-SEC player, maybe an All-American. But Derek Barnett set a school record for sacks. He was consistent. He did it over a long period of time. I think he was very impactful in many of the games that he played, so I'm going to say the second best to Barnett. Let me change the question, just tweak it on you a little bit. Is he the best player at this stage in his career since Eric Berry? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I, I really, I mean, I think he's tremendous, and, and he probably a bit ahead of, ahead of Barnett. I agree with you on both of those. I just yeah. think, you know, he's got to prove more. But to be where he is at this stage of his career, Eric Berry's the last guy I remember coming in and just looking like, oh, yeah, he's going to be special. Right. Yeah. Uh, Josh Ward, here's your question. Which unit, and, and – Let's, let's not just look off of Missouri yesterday. This is South Carolina, Missouri. We're a fifth of the way through the schedule. Which unit has improved the most since last year? Tennessee's offense or Tennessee's defense? I'm going to say the offense for a few reasons. One, uh, better, more consistent quarterback play that's not hurting you like you got last year at different times. Uh, also, the offensive line, we spent time talking about it today. I bet we will all season long. I think it will get even better as the season improves and you get guys in better shape and you get more cohesion up front. Also on the defensive side, I would expect improvement as the season goes along as in the secondary they work some things out with the personnel. They've allowed some big plays. They didn't do that last year. Last year, 30 plus plays given up, uh, 30 plus yard plays given up. Tennessee was the best in the SEC. They've had some issues with that in the first couple of games. That will get better as the season goes along. So I think it's a good thing that the offense is the answer. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to let uh, Willie Raincloud down there. I'm going to give you, I'm going to set you up. We'll see. If, right. We'll see if we hear. Put it on the tee. We're listening for lightning here, <laughs> lightning and thunder. Uh, the Vols look pretty much the same as they did last year when they played South Carolina. Yeah. They look better than they did last year against Missouri. Is that difference due to the first week to second week jump that you always hear about, big jump, or is it due to the fact that Missouri's not that good? Which way are you going? So I could say it's both, right? But I won't do oh, that. No, tonight. don't cavalier. <laughs> Here's what I'll say. I think this is more in Missouri not being as good. I just look at a lot of things. You know, they played the wrong starting quarterback. Then you bring in a guy late in the game after you've gotten behind. They had a bunch of drops. I just didn't think this team looked as competitive as the other teams I'd seen in Missouri and South Carolina. I'm sure there's definitely growth. But this team didn't look as good. This team looked like a team that you could roll out there and beat. And so I think more of this, you know, running 51 times and being able to be so successful on fourth down, on third, you know, a good defense is going to stop you on one of those, right? So I, I think this is a Missouri being down. Okay. All right. Always negative. We can't do anything <laughs> with it. All right. When we come back, uh, the Chucky C Note Casino. He's going to have to roll out a better line than he did last week because we ate him alive. We'll show you how much money we took from Chuck. Uh, when we come back, we'll make uh, predictions for Tennessee, Georgia. That's next on the Sports Show.